is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. It is finally here people, the most anticipated game in as many years as I can remember. It is finally in my hands, let's crack straight in. Music sounds amazing already. Accept, 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 yes please, accept all. Logging in to Elden Ring game server. Uh, welcome to the online multiplayer world of Elden Ring. This game allows you to connect online to experience a variety of elements that enrich the single play experience. Now, just for information's sake, I started this up and started recording to that point and realized I didn't have PlayStation Plus and it popped up asking me to buy it. You can skip it just by clicking the circle button and then move on and play offline just for those people that are curious. You don't have to have it. Uh, but I thought I would buy it for the month and just see see what features are there for the for the sake of the let's play. Let's crack straight in. Well, actually, let's have a we'll have a quick look at system just see what options are there for us. Uh, we've got a performance setting, uh, prioritize frame rate, which is most definitely what I'm going to go for. Prioritize quality, yeah, two options: prioritize quality, prioritize frame rate. Uh, I'm going to stick with frame rate, and motion sensor functions on we'll leave all the defaults on vibration function on manual attack aiming off auto target on toggle auto lock on yeah okay seems reasonable uh camera options x y axis is normal camera speed camera auto recovery cinematic effects on sound and display has got a whole bunch of stuff in it as well we may mess around with these volumes depending on how everything comes across in the first few videos i usually get feedback from you guys telling me if things are too loud or whatever and you can't hear me properly that sort of stuff let me know in the comments below hdr is only off because of the way i'm passing it through the recording system so if you've got all the hdr stuff you better turn that on a that's network no matchmaking for matchmaking no matchmaking Send summon sign, disable. Block your summon sign in worlds with adversaries present. Voice chat restricted, that'll be to friends presumably. Allow or restrict voice chat. Display player names, character name, and launch setting, play online, play offline. All right, okay, you can turn it off. You can turn it offline, play offline here. A so I think though that will only kick in if we relaunch the game by the sounds of that title and and just reminds you of what the buttons are so I am tempted to play offline but look, we'll stick with online for now I'm just uh, I'm not sure if people can invade your game at this point <laughs> like they can with the other ones all right there we go that's enough of that people let's crack straight into the game uh, what's it saying game options yeah, so it's letting you tweak a few things before you go in. Uh, we're going to leave everything as standard for now. Yes, prioritize frame rate. So there you go. If you didn't want to go and do that out of your way, it'll do it as a matter of process when you start the game up. Next, brightness. Adjust the brightness until the image on the right is barely visible. <laughs> I still can't see it on my screen. Hang on. I'm better watching it through the record thing, actually. Yeah, I think we'll go... I don't know, actually. We could have just left it. We'll put it on 5 for now. See so how we go on. It looks like my TV screen is a bit less sensitive than the monitor that the recording is being done on. Uh, and I can barely see it. I can just see it on the recorded one. A normal. Uh, axes Y, yeah, normal. So it's going to go through all the settings, isn't it, with us? Uh, we'll keep all that as standard. Here we go. Oh, it's the best part of the games, people. <laughs> Class selection. Oh, hello. We've got Mr. Naked Guy back. Okay, let's run through them. We've got Vagabond. Select a base for creating your character. So we've got Vagabond, Warrior, Hero, Bandit, Astrologer. Well, that's interesting. Might be a mix of melee and magics. Prophet. 
Samurai. Interesting. Prisoner. Confessor. And Wretch. Okay, so let's run through them. We've got the Vagabond. Let's take a look at the... Now, I'm going to assume that you can... Let's dive into Type B. Yes, yeah, so we can get a close-up look at them and hopefully we can come out. Yeah, so we can you can bounce in and out of them and see which one suits suits you best. So, not entered our name yet. So this is the first character. So you get a sword shield and quite heavy armor on that one. And we've got so high in the vigor and that's your yeah the vigor's the health and everything, isn't it? So you've got high health, you've got high strength. Actually, quite high dexterity considering. So, but it is quite a heavy character. Obviously, starting with quite heavy armor there. And low in the magics, intelligence and faith and all that are quite low. So she's sort of knight character, isn't it? And then we've got the warrior, which looks like it's a dual wielding sword person. Let's have a look. Yeah, interesting. I never, I've never been taken with the two-handed characters in these games. Well, these sort of games, in the From Software games. Always, I like the protection of a shield, but. It does say that you can have a shield, though. I'm assuming that these symbols it's giving you are what you start with. It seems I'm, I'm thinking that's the case. So it could be you can bounce between a shield and two-handed. Uh, okay. I don't think that one's for me yet. Oh, I've not found one that's for me yet. It is high in dex, but I'm feeling like maybe it's not quite balanced out enough for me. It's an option, though, but I just don't like the idea of two swords. A uh, hero... Axe and shield, and I'm not sure what that other symbol is on the, the weapons bit and the shield bit. I can only assume it's to do with magics of some description. Um, it's possible you start with one spell that you can use. Or is it pyromancy, maybe? It's fire? I'm not sure. Uh, what we're we looking at there, we're looking at high, high vigor and strength, uh, not so much in the decks, so. Yeah, I mean, I generally, I like to be nimble people, so <laughs> it'll be a dex pick for me if I can find a good balance of dex. Uh, okay, this looks, yeah, it's got, this has got the parry shield and the bow and arrow and probably a dagger, I think that is. Let's look at a male one, see what the male looks like. Yeah, so it actually reminds me of the thief character from Dark Souls. So, not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, you've got... Quite high arcane in that. Arcane 14, endurance 10, mind 11, vigor 10. A... Then we've got the astrologer. Could be an option. Uh, looks like, yeah, this looks like a magic swamp. So, yeah, you start with a staff. It's a cool staff, that, isn't it? That looks awesome. I quite liked in Demon Souls the way the fire flew out your hand right enough. With these ones, I don't know if it's the same in this game, but they just sort of push the stick up in the air and it casts a spell. So it was a little bit less sort of visually effective. Uh, it's quite tempting that though. You start with a smaller shield, but quite a cool get up. But you do get a little sword as well by the looks of it, looking at those symbols. Uh, actually, we didn't look at the... Uh, the stats but yeah mind is 15 intelligence fit 16 so that's it and dex isn't too bad either it would be a shout if i wanted to use magic to be fair a uh, so that's an option astrologer a prophet what the hell is that outfit all about <laughs> right uh let's have a look let's start with just a a sack and a wooden thing around your neck so, yeah, it looks to be Faith is 16. Uh, so it is sort of holy type magic orientated, I think that'll be. Yeah, Vigor 10, Mind 14, Faith 16. Okay, yeah, okay. Not for me, that character. A uh, Oh, here we go. Samurai. Well, to be fair, well, hello. The Samurai might actually be an option. Uh, it looks like you do get a shield as well as a starting bow. And you get, looks like you get fire arrows as well with that, to start. And you get a pretty decent, uh, well, katana type sword, isn't it? So that looks tempting. 
and the stats are very well rounded. Dexterity's yeah, I'm, I'm always about the dex. Dexterity's 15, but the strength is kind of not far away from it. So you got a good balance. Endurance of 13, which is good. For, endurance is a stamina, isn't it? So that's decent. Mind is 11, vigor is 12 as well. So vigor's pretty decent. That's a shout, isn't it? That's a good shout. That the samurai. Right, so that's an option. What the hell is this guy's outfit all about? <laughs> the prisoner. I realise the outfits really mean nothing because you can pick up outfits quickly enough in the game. Actually, it's not it's not that bad an outfit to be fair. It's just the helmet's a bit bizarre. It's a hell of a sword that. It's quite long, isn't it? Looks like a two-hander that. Oh, hello. He's got a staff as well. So he's a mix of magics and uh, sword, isn't he? Yeah, it's balanced out that way. Intelligence 14, Dexterity 14, Strength 11. Yeah, it's not a bad balanced character, that, if you want to get stuck into the magics a little bit. You do get a shield as well by the looks of that. I think that's a shield, that round thing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pick a character that's got a touch of the old magics going on. And we've got the Confessor. I like the outfit. That's superb. And it's a good starting set as well. That shield's probably got some decent block on it. The sword is a sort of decent broadsword. Ooh. Broadsword, though. I don't think it has lunge. I think the broadsword only has swipe. Well, this is me going by what's in, you know, the Dark Souls games. Uh, it does look like a broadsword. I, I do like a lunging sword, it has to be said. Soon replace it, though, I suppose. Uh, Well-rounded, though. Uh, in, uh, faith is 14. Intelligence... Oh, intelli yeah, intelligence, yeah. Faith being high is quite interesting. It's good... Pro hmm, is that protection against holy or something? I can't remember. Uh, dexterity, 12. Strength, 12. So it's an all-rounded, balanced character, that, for sword and shield. Does seem to have holy thing on the outfit as well, so it must be holy-based, I think. I think you can actually put a... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Attribute required to perform sacred incantations also boosts magic power of faith scaling incantations. Yeah. Interesting. So I think the two that have interested me the most are probably that, well, three. That one and the samurai. And the astrologer. I'm half tempted to go astrologer just to mix it up a bit. However, <laughs> uh, yeah, dexterity is twelve, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm just one. I'm, I'm just hoping that I do start with a sword, though. The shield you start with is a bit shit, though, isn't it? To be fair. Right. What do we think, people? I. Mind is 15. What did what was mind again? Attribute that affects FP. Yeah, we're not sure what FP is. Uh... Alright, let's take it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's risk it, people. Astrologer. I feel like not many people are going to try astrologer, so let's do the let's do a playthrough with something that's going to be a little bit different. A and we'll quickly get our uh, decks built up a little bit and get a shield on as well. Uh, if we go down this route, I think. Right, name. Go with our default name for all these things. Although, why have I not got a capital letter on me name, people? What's happening? Alright. Uh, body type B, age young. Yeah, we'll stay young. Origin, astrologer, keepsake. Uh, oh, hello. No keepsake. The past has been well tr and truly left behind. Ah, hello. Crimson Amber Medallion. 
Uh, mind you, it's, it's not really telling us what they are, is it? Lands between... Oh, hang on, it does, yeah. A medallion inlaid with crimson amber increases maximum HP. So that feels like a constant that we'll always have. Uh, lands between rune. The gold of the grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between used to gain many runes. A golden seed washed ashore from the lands between, said to reinforce sacred flasks. Ooh, hello. You only get to use that once, though, but enforcing the flasks generally means you get an extra heal or whatever, don't you? The ashes of small, diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. The cracked pot. Three strange cracked pots somehow themselves. A container for certain throw items. Stones with key, two stone keys shaped like swords, breaks the seal on imp statues, but can also be used, but can only be used once. Uh, bewitching branch, five sacred branches charged with the beguiling power, said to originate from the demigod Miquela. Boiled prawn, very nice indeed. I'll have some rice with that, thank you. Five pieces of boiled prawn boosts physical damage negation. And Shibiri's Woe, the crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out, attracts enemies' aggression. Right, okay. I think I'm tempted, actually, with the golden... Uh, what was the one? Reinforced Flask, the golden seed, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. I feel like it's going to reinforce our flask, like, almost straight off the bat. Uh, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit people. Starting game with this character. Yes, please. Here we go. I'm a bit nervous now. I've gone magic. <laughs> Never started one of these games as magic before. Apart from demons. The fallen leaves tell a story. Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon of Mere, the All-Knowing.
and one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. I love how there's just a character thrown in there called Dung Eater or whatever his name is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I like the outfit. Oh, hello. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's interesting. So, in the previous games, there was no sort of default jump button. It was kind of a sprint and a, a weird button move you had to do to jump. It's actually X in this. You just jump using X. Uh, roll is circle. That oh, Okay, square is heel by the looks of it. So, everything else is pretty much as it would be. Uh in any other Souls game. With regards to action, I mean. Yeah. Magic. Aha! There we go. Alright, I'm happy with my pick now. So, right on the D-pad, you can change over to magic. Go back to sword. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Right, here we go. Let's read some stuffs. Behold, Elden Ring. Appraise, appraisals 1542. Praise the Elden Ring. All right, okay, I think it's just messages people have left, maybe. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Very well. Uh, pillage remains. Yes. Tarnished wizened finger. The bloody hell's that for? Ah, right, okay. Just uh, it's triangle and triangle. I'm just get used to the fact that X is not the pickup button. Also, they've made a very wise choice. Chapel of Anticipation. Jot that down. They've made a wise choice with the the compass at the top because I sort of I talked about this in one of my uh, podcasts or vlogs recently. It's uh, it can be quite distracting having a little radial map at the top of the screen because you end up looking at that more than you do at the actual world around you. So I like the idea of the. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Look at that tree. Okay. This is what other people have done, I assume. Alright, yeah, that shows you what... Uh, <laughs> people have jumped off the edge for whatever reason. Is that what I'm meant to do? Surely not. Right, let's just check. There's nothing around the corners here. Uh, I wonder if jump back is the same. Yes, it is. Circle. Stand still in a circle. Behold, old codger. Oh, time for time for liar. Behold, old codger. Whatever that means. All right, here we go. And so it begins. Behold something. <laughs> what are these messages all about, people? Pauper. Ah, well that brings... Yeah, well here we go. Nice. <laughs> the old rolly roll, roll and break everything function is still there, you'll be pleased to know. Well, it looks beautiful. It really does. 
You shall not pass. <laughs> Time for joy. Uh -huh. I can hear it creaking as you walk over it. Superb. I keep the problem with the messages is I keep seeing them. I think they're pickups and they're not. They're just messages left on the floor. It's the shinies people. I'm assuming the. Hmm. I'm wondering what sprint is. Ah, oh, wow, you can crouch! Well, that's new. You couldn't do that in the old games, so that's awesome. It means you can do a bit of stealth shiz, people. Superb. Yeah, I'd like to know what sprint is, though. Ah, uh, it's circle. So, circle is roll or hold it down and sprint. Yeah, okay, got it. I feel like I'm going to walk into that open area and get uh, some sort of fight. Usually you get a few little enemies to fight first, though. Check it out, people. That tree's amazing. Oh, hello. Oh, what? What? Ow. Oh, hang on. Bit of a cop out fight, this, I think. Didn't even get a basic enemy to fight before this guy. Ow. I don't know how to heal either. I can't heal. Maybe it's one of those you're not meant to beat. Yeah, I've only got one hit left in me. I also don't have any magic. <laughs> so I can't I can't even hit him with anything. Oh dear. I feel like that was meant to happen. Yeah, it's fine. Probably beatable, to be fair. <laughs> I'm just not good enough. <sighs> hey, it's our steed. <laughs> Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Flask of Crimson Tears. Yeah, so that'll be our healing. Yeah, thank you. Flask of Cerulean 
Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Cer Cerulean tears. That'll be for the magics. Didn't expect boss. Yeah, well. There's always a boss at the beginning, really, isn't there? To be fair, who's this chap? Brave Tarnished, take the plunge. What? No, no. Now, I'm curious... Oh, hello, there's a pickup up there. It's possible we can't get up there yet. Not seeing any way to walk up there. There's another one up there as well. Well, it definitely looks like it's this way to go. I'm not sure what jumping down there is all about. Let's just see if we can have a better look down that hole. It does look like you can jump down there right enough, but it's possible. <laughs> it's possible you can only do it later when you've got a bit more health about you. Um... Ah, let's do it. Uh, that looks a bit longer though, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, no, we're okay. Wow, looks incredible though. Check the water and everything out. Uh, resting at a site of grace will restore HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. Yes, it's the same format. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are, are required. I can't speak, people. These explanations are required in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Uh, okay. So what was that? Wasn't it? This, why, I'm just wondering why it gave me that message at that particular moment in time. Oh, is that a... Oh, I see. <laughs> Might actually stood on one. I didn't even realise. Right, okay. Touch the grace. Well, we haven't fought any enemies, so fair enough. Lost grace discovered. Okay. Well, actually, I just wanted to check. How do you get into your items? There we go. All right, you've got a map. If you click the big pad uh, on the controller, with the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings and surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be run back somewhere in the game. Very good. All right, okay, we've got a nice map. But how do you get to your inventory? Not, not with that button, you don't. Aha! Start button. I'm curious about the item that we started with is all. With the inventory menu, you can browse your items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. Tarnished with a uh, wizened finger. Reusable. Used to write a message to other worlds. Ah, right, okay. It's for writing your messages and stuff. So... Hmm. There it is. The Golden Seed increases Sacred Flask's number of uses. That's the badger. So... Oh. Can't seem to use it as yet. Uh, 
Ah, well, thinking about it, I think you can only actually upgrade them at blacksmiths, can't you, in the other games, so it's possibly the same as this. Let's crack on, let's see a bit of the bit of the world, people. Let's see what's going on. Is this an enemy? Yeah, it is. Right, let's try, we'll try and save the magics for when we really need it, I think. You can memorize sorceries and incantations at sites of grace. You must have a staff you must have a staff equipped to cast sorcery or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Okay, that answers what FP is then. Focus points, I assume. Switch to sorcery uh switch to sorcery slash incantation. first backstab of the game people backstab is still there oh and also answers the question that that is not a broadsword which is good because it's got a lovely i'm actually loving the fact that it plays just like the other games <laughs> so uh, use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks guarding is especially effective when done with a shield guarding can assume stamina if you're yeah okay that's fine you can avoid enemy attacks with dodge uh with a dodge roll or back step yeah okay let's do this come on let's dance you and i Nice. The old backstab's just uh, working nicely, thank you. There's the one thing with the Demon Souls remake, it was just kind of, the backstab was just kind of off. I, just, I could never do it that regularly that I've just done it there. I love the fact of jump buttons in it as well, by the way. I love that simple addition. Check the fog out. Ooh. Can I hear something? What are these? Wire materials. In every corner of the lands between you, uh, be lands between you will find fruits of, and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Right. Let's pay attention, people. Don't want to be leaving stuff behind. Yeah, he's a... Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ow. Hmm. He's not for letting me get behind him, is he? Come on, you badger. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. Confused the shit out of you, didn't it? Made, made him dizzy, I think. That's what happened there. Just trying to not waste me magics is what I'm trying to do. Ah, yeah, little fucker, there's a <laughs> bloody bow person up the top there, just caught me shoulder as I was, uh... So you can play that game, you know. That'll learn you. I'll tell you what, I'm already glad I went a, a half-mage character. <laughs> like, get rid of annoyances like that from the game. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Ah, right, okay. Uh, ah, right, L2 to use a skill. Uh. 
Hmm. Not sure about that one because uh, L2 seems to be parry. But anyway. Yeah, here we go. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacks. Attacking an enemy that has, hasn't has noticed you will cause more damage. Nice. And in fact, yeah, it's given us tall grass to work around. Oh, I love this. I love this. Yeah. Hello. R1 near a back turned enemy. Yeah, we know that. Critical hit. I thought there was two of them in here, but there's only one. Well, that's just marvellous, that is, people. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold R2, charge attack. R2 while jumping, jump attack. Ah, okay, interesting. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit, that's brilliant. It's like getting a front-on backstab, isn't it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Superb. I love that, people. That's getting used. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Ah, right. One of these statues, then. Nice. Oh god. Is this the enemy again? I think this is the boss fight again. I think. That said, has it actually shown me oh hello. Traverse the mist, right, okay. Just give me a sec. Yeah, so heal is square, isn't it? I think we decided that. Oh no. Triangle, Steve. Soldier of Godric. Oh, Christ. You can perform a counter-attack immediately by blocking an enemy. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Yeah, God's sake. Ow. Yeah, well, that all went. That's gone all kinds of wrong, hasn't it? I was about to say, me and Parry have never got along. <laughs> Stake of Marika, yeah. So we're right, we're right by the door. It's been kind to us on this one, actually. Upon dying, you will revive the last sight of grace. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. Yeah, it's the same format, isn't it? The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. Right, well, I think... Uh, mm. It does seem to be wanting us to do the uh, the parries in this particular. Oh, for fucking hell, really? Yeah, I'm not getting the hang of this guy at all. Oh, 
<laughs> Fucking hell. I think I'm just going to slap him next time I come in. This does not bode well for proper boss fights, people, does it? I need to get me, need to get me focus on here, people. I should have just gone for him. Mind you, it's never a better place to be practicing parry, is there, to be fair? That was because I wanted to get me things before uh, fighting him. more like it. That's what you were meant to do. Take him down in one hit with that bloody parry. Thank you. Right, don't be afraid of the parry, Steve. That's the lesson learned there. Probably the only person <laughs> to have died in that boss fight. Anyway. Yeah, we looked through there earlier. Any pickups in here? I was trying to avoid using my magic there. I, I did it on purpose. I wanted to get used to the melee. It's a bit too easy just to resort to the magics. And plus it was telling me specifically to use... Uh, to use the parry, which was also why I was kind of on with it. I did get me points back, didn't I, through all that jumping around. Yeah. Onward. Hey! Yeah, so it looks like you actually should do that before moving through that door. I, I'm wondering actually if we'd gone to that door, if it'd have blocked us. Strength! A new emote. I'm going to assume there's no way of... Nah, it's far too far back, isn't it? Was that other pickup up there? Let's get on with it, people. Let's crack on. We've got ourselves a sight. Lost Grace discovered. A cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. Yeah. That should cause someone else into your game, doesn't it? And another finger. Thank you. What are these all about? Just windows. All right. So, actually, I'm noticing you can also rest at the Fire of Grace, of course, like you can with the other games. I'm assuming touching them doesn't bring the enemies back, but resting at them does. And only resting at them will revitalize everything. I see. All right, you should pass the time. Flasks. Ooh, add charge to flask. Increase amount replenished by flask. Yeah, because that, that must be because we've got that item. Allocate flash charges. Oh, add charge to flask. Yeah, increase amount replenished by flasks. Use golden seed. Right, say no for a second. And then increase amount replenished by flasks. Use a sacred tier. Oh, right, okay. Use a sacred tear to increase it. I wonder if we got the sacred tear from that knight. We might have done, you know. Or did we pick those up? I think I recall picking it. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, you can use a sacred tear to... Yeah, so we're going to use both of these, I think. Allocate flask charges. 
with this menu you can allocate the number of uses yeah it's the same as the other games so you can bounce you can increase the flash charges but you can jump you can move them between the hp and the magics which i'll be doing because i've got the at the moment i've got one magics and three heals but if we increase add to charge added a charge so we've now got four heals or we should have uh, we'll increase the amount replenished by flasks as well use a sacred tear now it could be that the sacred tear can be used for other things of course but we'll use it for this oh no sacred tear right talking nonsense because I don't have one allocate flask charges yeah there you go we've got four now so we could make that three heals and two magic replenishments which feels about right, actually. Should we do that? Okay. I feel like I've just undone what I did. <laughs> all right, okay, no, I've not. It just seems to go from cancel to, yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're all good people, we're all good. Now if we look at there now, we've got, yeah, three and two. That's it. Onward! Onward! <gasps> Giant lever to the left. Yes. See a pattern emerging of no reason to roll through those, Stephen. <laughs> Should we pull the giant lever now? Or not, in this case, maybe. Going up! Interestingly, I may have skipped over a whole bunch of the creation process, you know, because I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do your character a bit more in depth than I did. I just picked young and blah. So there may well have been stuff on that screen that I've comple completely washed by. So apologies. Apologies if you were looking to see what the creation menu was like. Well, here we go, people. We're walking into the grand old world. Limgrave. Wow. Well, there's an eye-opener and no mistake, Mr. Frodo, isn't it? Let's just have a look about. Well, it's certainly a gorgeous world, I'll give you that. What's that up there? like eagles or something. Oh. Just flew away. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Didn't want to take me on then. To be fair, I would have felt a bit bad just slaughtering an eagle there. Oh, it looks like you can kill any animal then. Little raccoons or whatever they are just running away as well. Somebody standeth over there. Is it friend or foe? Looks like friend. Oh, hello. Touch the grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain the, that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. If you say so. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at Stell's 
along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks you explore. Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, that doesn't seem very nice, does it? Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think. There we go. Castle Stormvale, on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Yes, all right. No need to keep going on about my maidenlessness, is there? You know what I mean? Right. Let's crack on. Oh, acquire materials. Yes, please. Summoning pools. In each area, you may find effigies or martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs create, uh, created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Well, I feel like we should be going the other way. So let's do that. I'm just conscious that... I mean, the problem is, it's not like all the other Souls games, is it? So... <laughs> oh, hello. Flying enemies down that way. It's not like there's any given path. You can go where you like. I'm pretty sure that big guy on the horse is going to give me a hard time as well. Got to be honest though, the the frame rate is a bit sticky at times. It's not uh, it's not 100% smooth on the higher frame rates setting. Can't, oh, I can. I'll do. Take a bit of that action. Nice. One hit kill. Oh, nice. There's a lock on from bloody miles away, look. Can't quite hit him from here, though. Let's go down. Let's do it. Oh. 
Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. All oh, right. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allowed. That's nice. That's pretty decent, isn't it? However, it didn't replenish my magic flask. It's almost a bit disconcerting that I don't have, you know, I don't know where to go. I... I mean, that guy is telling me to go to the castle where my journey will kind of start, I think. Possibly where you meet the woman that can then help you level up and spend your souls and that sort of thing. And they're not called souls, they'll be called effigies or whatever, they're not effigies, they're called something else. <laughs> What's that? Nice. Golden rune. Just a skull with glowing eyes. I almost just walked past it and then I thought, why has it got glowing eyes? Well, we've got uh, enemies with fire, certainly. Dragon burnt ruins. Feral flame of a kill. Burn true. Feral flame of a kill. Somebody's chit chatting to themselves. Whoa, fuck me. Christ. Crikey, that was a fluffy, cuddly dog that was very angry at the same time. Let's dance you in our. Come on. Oh, fuck me, there's another dog. Got stuck on the wall. He's not for coming over, is he? That's a bit... I didn't even see him moving and he was hurting me. Shite. That's a lot of. Uh... Oh, well, to be fair, I could tease them out. the dog try to jump at me look oh yeah little fucker took fucking hell look at the health he took off me You've gotta be kidding me on fucking hell Ugh. 
many fucking hits did that dog take there? God damn it. Uh, last sight of Grace, I think. I, I, I have no idea where that stake of Marika is. Ooh. I didn't actually rest at the last, uh... Nah, it's fine. I'm grave. To be fair, it's not that far from where we were. We just have to fight the enemies again. Uh, does that mean I've got my... Yeah, I've got my heels back and everything. It's fine. Well, I want me, I want me points back, that's for sure. Curious if you get anything out of animals, yeah, you do. Thin beast bones and silver of meat. Whoa. Like all these games, though, obviously, it's only the points I've dropped. All the items we picked up are. Uh, All the items we picked up are still with us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going the same way. Ah, here we go. Right, we'll most likely have these dogs to deal with again from the off, so... Ooh, hello. What's your name? Oh, I'm not killing. I'm not killing a big giant tortoise, people. Come on now. Try to remember where the first dog came from. I can sneak up on the dog if he doesn't come all the way around. But he's gonna, isn't he? Fucker. Fucking, every time I play one of these games, it's always, always dogs that, uh, dogs or wolves and that sort of shit that wind me up. It's gonna kill me again. Fucking damage it's doing to me. It's fucking outrageous. Oh, I've got a fucking dragonfly on me now. Where's this guy come from? Oh, swear box is coming out, people. I've not, got, I've not even got to anywhere near a boss yet, and I've got the Angus people already. I do feel like I just want my points back at this point, and I'll go back to heading in the right direction, I think.
Right, we've got our points back, and there's still a dog kicking around, though, I'm sure, because we've only killed two. So, I'm going to come back to this place and see if we can reach... Uh... Oh, there's an effigy there. Uh, not an effigy, whatever it's called. At least I think it is. So I think I didn't have to run all the way back here. I think I could have... Uh... doesn't say that it is, but... Yeah, it's a bit deceiving that. It would be useful if it told you each time that that was one, if that is one. So, it seems to be suggesting that I go to the castle over the mountain. Uh, mind you, can I get back up from where I drop down? I'm not even sure if I can. Must be able to. Also, we need to get our steed as well, so I'm assuming that must come early on in the game, so you can... Smithing stones, hello. That might upgrade a sword or something. Call it what it is in this game. <laughs> Something shards in Dark Souls, isn't it? Oh, wow. The ocean. Check that out. That water's coming out of the rock face, isn't it? Interestingly, the sprint doesn't seem to be using stamina. I suppose it's uh, probably a good thing in a, an open world version of this game, though. Get really frustrating if you had to wait for your stamina to build up every time you sprint somewhere. But come on, that guy's most definitely got to be wanting to fight me, surely. Right, well, sight of grace, please. I think we will have a rest, and... Don't think we have any spells to memorise, do we? With the memory spells menu, you can memorise sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped. Yeah, we know that. So we've got glintstone arc. Fires a horizontally widening magic arc. Glintstone Pebble fires a magically perpetual... Yeah, I think the Pebble's the one we're using, isn't it? Yeah, FP cost of 7. Yeah, so we were using the other one. It's interesting. I wonder what that one looks like. Let's have a look. Uh, I need to jump between them. Oh, that's superb. Have a bit of that action, people. So you can bounce between your spells up at the top there. Oh, brilliant. Marvellous. <laughs> Pass the time. Uh, flasks. Memorise spells, sort chest. So you get a chest straight away as well. With this menu you can place items that, you were, that you're were that you carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. If you are already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. That's really cool. So you don't have to leave stuff behind. I like that. We've got three, fr three rune fragments. Material used for crafting items. And a golden rune used to gain a small number of runes. Oh, right. That's, so it's runes that we're spending in this game, isn't it? So that's the equivalent of a, a soul thing, whatever they were called. Safe points. 
but so far I'm not seeing anything to level up which means that we must get to a central point where that can happen well there you are folks, I think we'll wrap it up there we've gone well over the hour mark, I thought I'd do a bit of an extended one so we could at least see a little bit of the open world it's absolutely gorgeous, the music's fantastic story concept's great uh, I'm loving the fact that it is literally the fighting mechanics of the Soulsborne games but with the added jump button and the crouch button for sneaking which are two fantastic additions to an open world environment without any shadow of a doubt so there you are, I will crack on with a second part and uh, there was lots of you on the channel wanted to see me play a bit of this, so there will be a lot more of it coming. A lot more swearing and a lot more pain, I'm sure. <laughs> but there you are. I hope that's been a great first look for anyone that was looking to see how the game starts off and how similar it is to the other From Software games and that sort of thing. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.